the following video is to access some questions about the mitosis cell investigation lab. In order to work on number eight, you do need access to the Google Drive folder. You do need to be signed into your student account. We do suggest that you have access to a calculator, a sheet of scratch paper, and something to write with if possible. Let's take a look at our instructions. Access the cell images at this Google Drive folder. They are in order. Slides one, two, three, four, and five are all in this Google Drive folder. Complete the table by counting the number of cells in each phase. This may be challenging and some cells you might need to make a decision about whether or not they are an interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, or telophase. Okay, so we're leaving this up to your discretion. If you're having any troubles, please refer back to the photos that are in your cell, cell cycle mitosis virtual investigation handout back in Schoology and or use your notes to compare doodles. So those are little pictures of your cells in each of your phases. The, the biggest piece of information that we can give you from your notes is that your cells spend majority of their lifetime in interphase. So when you go about counting up the number of cells in each phase, keep that in mind as interphase should be your largest number. Let's take a look at your number of cells in slide one. Okay, so we are going to be focusing on this first column on the left-hand side of our chart. I've gone ahead and I've printed out an image of slide one. Again, you will find the image for this particular slide and all of your other slides in the Google Drive folder. We are asked to count how many cells we see in interphase prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, as best as we can. As you can see, some of these cells seem to interlap, uh, overlap, excuse me, overlap, and some of them are pretty hard to distinguish, especially toward the, uh, the right, right area over here. Okay, so just do your best. So we want to count how many cells we see in interphase, and then we want to document them here in the area for slide one. We're going to do the same for prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Okay, so for interphase, we know that in interphase, your cell is growing, it's hanging out, it's gathering nutrients, it's copying its DNA, it's not yet prepared. We said P for prophase, P for prepped. Okay, it's not prepared for cell or preparing for cell division. Okay, so we need to count how many cells we see in interphase, just hanging out. Let's say, for example, we count up 60. Out of all of the cells that we see on the slide, we would document 60 here. I suggest that you use your scratch sheet of paper to try and document all the cells that you find. Okay, so slide one is what I'm starting with. I'm gonna use I for interphase, B for prophase, M for meta, oops. A for anaphase, and T for telophase. It is not asking me anything about cytokinesics. Okay, so I wanna see how many cells look like they're doing nothing, they're just hanging out there in interphase. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use a, a red marker here to, to uh, kind of check mark all of those that I see doing really nothing, just hanging out in interphase. Let's see, I would say maybe this one's in interphase, so one, two, three, let's see. Mm, remember that if you can see X or condensed DNA into chromosomes, that's not an interface. DNA is not condensed in interface. So, so far I have three, let's see. Mm, I can see some squigglies in here. I'm gonna do four, five, can see some stuff in here. I'm gonna say six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 
17, 18, 19, 20. I'm going to say 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, Forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four, forty five, forty six, forty seven, forty eight, forty nine, fifty, fifty one, fifty two, fifty three, fifty four, fifty five, fifty six, fifty seven, fifty eight, fifty nine, sixty, sixty one. I'm going to take that one, but 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. I'm going to cut it off at 79. Okay, so I found 79 currently in interface. So I'm going to write 79 there. Next, I want to look for prophase. So I'm looking for cells that are preparing for cell division. I should see condensing of your DNA into chromosomes. So I'm going to look for those that are in prophase. So I should see some squiggly stuff. Like, for example, I see some squiggly stuff here. So I'm going to count that as one. Let's see. Mm -hmm. We should also see the nuclear envelope kind of fading away. One. I'm going to go two. I'm going to go with, oh, this one, three, four. Five. Maybe this one, six. I see some squiggly stuff here. Seven, eight, my nuclear membrane's gone. Nine, ten, perhaps eleven, maybe twelve, maybe thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, I would say 21, this one is questionable, 21, now we need to look for, M is for metaphase, M is for middle. So I'm looking for where they are lined up in the middle-ish or equator area. <laughs> this one's a great example for anaphase. So we're looking for metaphase, where they are lined up in the middle. <laughs> looking for them in the middle. I don't know about this one. This one, that's a good example for telophase. Okay, let's see. I do like this one for metaphase. I found one so far. Okay, so I found one. So for metaphase, I'm gonna put one. Let's see, for anaphase, we said A is for a part. I'm gonna use orange. This one for sure, for anaphase. 
Mm, it's the only one I can find so far. I'm trying not to take up too much time. Okay, and then telephase. I'm going to switch to this light purple. This is a great example here for telephase. Kind of trying to hurry here. This is the best example, so I'm just gonna put one here too. One in for Tillaface. Okay, so now I have my tallies for slide one, and now I have to enter them here onto my to my little chart. Okay, so for interphase, I counted 79. For prophase, I counted 21. Metaphase, anaphase, and telephase. If your numbers are slightly different than mine, don't panic. They probably have better eyesight than I do, or maybe you took a little bit better time and effort to look at the pictures. Okay, so this is for, for the slides, for slide one cells. Okay, let's pretend we filled all of these in. What would you do now? It says we need to add up our totals. Okay, so your total, of course, it would be added across to get your total here. Okay, so however many you counted in slide one, two, three, four, and five, you add them up and you put them here for the total cells that you have observed in this particular phase. Remember that it should be higher than the consequent pro prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase because your cell spends most of its lifetime in interphase. Percentage of cells in this particular phase if you're not sure how to calculate that, you're going to use the formula that is in the lower left-hand side of your chart. It looks like this. It says you're going to take the number of cells observed in interface divided by your total number of cells counted times 100. And that will give you a percentage of the cells that you found overall that were spending their time in interphase in this still shot because these cells are no longer active. It's a picture. Lastly, you need to calculate time in each phase. Okay, and if you're not sure how to do that, it says that the, the um, formula is in the next slide, but I've written it down here for you, and I suggest you do the same. Time equals percentage of your phase, the green box, times 720 minutes. And that will give you your overall time that your cell spends in that particular phase. Again, I suggest that you have your calculator handy. If you're using your phone, go for it. Okay, so um, let's say, for example, I'm going to use a, a pencil here. Let me get one. Just to give you an example, let's pretend I do the same for, for the cells in slides two, three, four, and five. Let's say I calculate uh, or find, excuse me, 85 there. Let's say I find 80 in this one. Let's say I find a bunch in this one. And let's say I found 78 in that one. Okay, so I'm going to add them all up. 79 plus 85 plus 80 plus 100 plus 78 would give me 422 cells total out of all five slides that are in interphase. Now I need to do percentage of cells in the base. It says number of cells observed divided by the total number of cells counted. Okay, so now I'm going to clear this because I already wrote 422. Number of cells in this particular phase. So I observe it. Let's see. Total is 720. 422. 
divided by 720 times 100, 58.6% of cells, so it's more than half of them, are going to be in interface. I'm using this number 720 just as, as an assumption that maybe after I do all of these total number of cells, maybe it is 720. Okay, it doesn't have to be. Maybe your number is, I don't know, uh, 600 or maybe even higher, 800. Because this one is 422 total on this side, but all of these should be lower. They should decrease as we count them because, as you can see here, I have less and less cells spending less and less time in other stages of mitosis actively dividing. Why? Because your cell spends less time actively dividing and more time growing, gathering nutrients, and preparing for cell division. Okay, and that's the whole point of this exercise. Okay. Moving on, because we want to pretend to calculate time. Okay, so we want our percentage times 720 minutes. So we're going to take 58.6% times 720 minutes. So how many minutes does my cell spend in each phase? times 720 minutes. That's a lot. 4,000. Oops, it's a higher number than that. Let me erase here. 42, 192, and those are minutes. Okay. So again, you want to use your pictures for the Google Drive folder. Just do your best. Count which ones you, that you can. I'm not asking you guys to kill yourselves over guessing what's in the void over here. Okay, just do what you can. Count up what you can. Fill in your chart to the best of your ability. Use your formulas. Get a calculator. I really suggest that you get yourself a scratch sheet of paper so that you can document your stuff. If you get stuck... Check out your notes or skip it and come back to it at a later time. All right. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching. Bye.